Hello, hello, and welcome back, or welcome. I am Book Love Lorna, and this is going to be another mammoth video. Today I'm going to attempt to organise my bookshelves and I'm thinking that I might try putting them in rainbow. Which, honestly, I think is going to be a bad move. I think it's going to take me forever to find any book that I ever want to find. Um, because I at the moment I basically have them kind of in author chunks. So all my Holly Martin books are together. Um, all of my Jodie Peacock books are together, all my Harry Potter books are together, these are all my Jojo Moyes, this is my fancy bookshelf with all my special editions, well I've got others but those are the special special editions, um, all the Lindsay Kelk books together, and I think that it's going to be hard for me to find books once I've jumbled them all up, but I really like the way that a rainbow bookshelf looks so I really just want to try it, see how it goes. I feel like this is going to take me a long time. I might have to stop for a lunch break because I mean it's it's already lunch now but I'm just so motivated to do this I just want to get it going. Uh, my back already hurts so that's a good start um, but I want to get it done. So we're going to organise. There is a lot of rubbish on these shelves so I'm going to have to take a lot off. I'll take you through what is essentially in this room. I've got piles of books over there, books and boxes. Um, my study area of the study, I mean, this is the study, but from from this line of, of books, like this is the book part of the room. Apart from there's also like alcohol and other rubbish in here, um, but I'm currently storing some alcohol on my bookshelf, so that's not ideal. Um, so I need to sort out this entire room really, but the study part where the desk is and everything, that stuff is all kind of okay. Oh, we've got some sun now. Um, that's just, it's not that tidy but it's organized no yeah is it yeah it is it's tidy mess is what it is tidy mess i will show you in a second and i will take you through what current state my bookshelves are in there are two shelves that are being used as book stuff as other stuff which should be for books but they're not they are kind of you you'll see you'll see i'll take you on a little quick tour now to show you what's what we've got a sun issue now i'll take you on a little tour now to see uh what's what with my shelves okay now i am currently stood at the entrance to my study in the lounge um this is kind of what we're dealing with so this shouldn't look like this these are books that I bought back from Christmas, uh, they are Christmas and birthday books, bought back with me when I come back from Devon, and they're just, that shouldn't be like that, that should be clean and tidy, and only have on it the books that I plan to read this month, and what I have already read this month, although I'll probably be putting those books away as I organise all this. Um, underneath here, I've got random bits in those drawers, presenty things, that's got like vases and stuff in. That one is the alcohol cupboard, you can tell that one's not closed, because I can't get it to close, because there is too much alcohol in there, because I buy all these things and I just don't drink them, so I need to have just a, a week of alcohol. And then on the left hand side here we have my DVD case, because I'm one of those people who still likes to have DVDs. Um, yeah, and then we've got my little box thing which has some storage in and my eel pillow which would usually sit in front of here That is where I film my videos Now at the back just here. That is my study area So yeah, like I said that is kind of tidy mess. Um, it's I know where everything is. It's semi-organized I will get to that on uh, another day So bookshelves wise we've gone a bit messy because I've got quite a lot of stuff now So it's kind of similar to when you last saw it in my bookshelf tour We've got Jodie Picoult, oh, sorry for my big hand, Jodie Picoult, uh, like here, Harry Potter, Jodie Picoult ones that don't fit, um, I've got another Harry Potter one in the books, in the boxes behind me, we've got Giovanna, Tom Fletcher books, Jojo Moyes, then we've got all the fancy dancy books, I'm gonna have sun as an issue now because I'm uh, filming too many videos today and it's got late in the day. We've got all the Lindsay Kalk books, Divergent series, Hunger Games, Lucy Diamond, and some others. And then we get further down here. These are the books shelves that I don't really see. You can see how things are messy. I've just got all these kind of things abandoned on here. That's why it needs sorting out. We've got uh, Cecilia Hearn books. I've got a lot of uh, sun reflection just there. Sarah Morgan. Along the bottom, obviously, a Game of Thrones books, all my 
what are these called? The Twilight books or my Christmas books. See, messy. We're on second layers. This isn't right. Um, my Jane Austen. And then on this second bookshelf, on top we've got the Lego that I've uh, made. Oh, if I could show you that. What? The Great Hall and also the Friends Lego set. So that's where I store my uh, made Lego. I don't know where I'm going to put the next one that I make. Um, right, so this top shelf here, this is, this is just, this is not just not acceptable. Um, I collected the Disney Wisdom notebooks, so those need to be stored somewhere. I've currently got them in there at the moment. It's fine for them to be stored on a bookshelf, but, I, I mean, all this other stuff can be, st probably be stored elsewhere. I live in a flat, so we're not massive on places I can store things, but I'm sure that this can be better. Um, then here we go, first alcohol bottle. Um... So hardbacks on here. Now this, last time you saw it, wasn't double layered. So obviously I've got all these Holly Martin books now. And then lots of these I bought quite recently actually. Um, but they shouldn't be double layering. That's why I need to free up like some of these shelves just here. And then it gets even worse. We've got another alcohol bottle just here. I really like a Bombay Sapphire. Um, and we've got all the Twisted Tail books, lots of random books. Some of these I have read some of them I haven't read, some of them I probably won't get around to reading, some of them I probably should get rid of, so maybe I could sort that out now. We've also got a pile of cooking books, now those should be better sorted out than that, so we'll see about that. And then down here, I feel like it gets worse every time. These That's not even stacked properly, it's because I'm, I might be only like five foot three, but I can't really see this shelf. Um, there's a packet of Tic Tacs over here, those are my mum's, she's left them here once. Um, bookmarks and pins just strewn across um, that needs sorting and then down the bottom I've been using that for my scrapbook box on the left which I mean I don't really use it very often so it does it really need to live there probably not um, but my scrapbooks I don't really want to put them in the loft because I don't want them to get damp or anything not that my lamp is my not that my loft is damp but you never know um, and then I don't even know what's in that like basket thing so essentially we've got quite a bit of work to do I think first things first is to get all the books off the shelves and clean the shelves. So I've got my duster out ready and the hoover because I mean it's I don't really dust my bookshelves that much because it's hard to dust bookshelves. And I saw a video the other day, someone had doors, glass doors on their bookshelves and it didn't look the same, but imagine avoiding that dust. Not that it's actually, they're very dusty at all, but they probably could do with a bit of a clean. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's get all the books off, and then, although I don't know where they're gonna go, um, maybe I'll just do get them off one shelf at a time, and then clean the shelves before I start to rainbow them. Oh my God, this is gonna take me hours, isn't it? Now I do have an update for you, and I'm doing you an update because I want to have a lunch break and because it's now raining it's getting really dark outside so I'm, I need to give you an update before we are in complete darkness even though the sun doesn't set for two hours so hopefully it'll get brighter again I've had to put the lights on inside now I'm not doing bad um rainbow bookshelves is harder than I thought um when I started doing it I was like oh hold on how do I actually want to do mine do I want to do all colors just like block together on one like shelf do I want to do kind of like a gradient across the whole bookshelf? Um, and I quickly realised that that was going to be really difficult, even though that's what, you know, the pros do. Um, so I've kind of gone away. I'm not doing that. Um, I'm just kind of uh, doing what I want to do. So I'll show you what we've got at the moment. Firstly, we've got a mess is what we've got. Now the process is take out um, a shelf of books put them on the floor, put them into kind of a colour order. So like here we've got loads of white edge books, green edge books. Uh, no, that must be green. That must be light green. That must be dark green. Those are orangey. Uh, I've got like dark pile and then there's another dark pile under there. Um, and then like my special edition and Harry Potter are just on the floor over there because I kind of want to keep those together. So I've left those for the time being. Um, yeah, haven't I've just been emptying books off the shelves to put on the other side so far, but on the first shelf, let me move a little bit. On the first shelf, we're not doing too bad at the moment. So along the top, I thought let's put hardbacks because I realized that I didn't want to have, so for example, loads of white books and then random hardback ones, and it'll be all different heights. So I didn't like that. So we've gone for, 
white turning into bluey hardbacks but what is annoying is that these ones are really small but luckily they do kind of blend together so it could be worse we could be up and down but no one's really going to see that shelf anyway so it's fine and then we go into like ready into pink that is actually like a rose goldy color even though you can't see it um very well and then into black hardbacks so top two shelves i've got as hardbacks for the moment and then as we go down, you can see I've, I'm missing some here. Not that I'm missing some, I need to put some in here or find some. So we've got pink books into purple books. Potentially I should be switching this around the other way so that the, it goes from light pink to light purple. Uh, that's a point, so maybe I'll do that. Um, and then down here I've got dark blue books going into light blue books, which I think looks really cute, although that sprayed edge kind of... Uh, gets in the way but that's fine um so I've got too many blue books because I've got more blue books than I want than fit on here um so I think what I'm going to end up doing is put like black ones or black on the bottom shelf because that's really dark and kind of takes away from the happiness of reading and then on the shelf behind me on the shelf here I think I'm going to end up putting like just maybe white in the middle because that will reflect when I'm filming because obviously where I'm stood now is where I generally film so um I think I'll put white books here to help with the light I think that's probably quite a good idea at the moment I've got you know like a chunk of black here so that will be down below where I'm stood now um yeah that's kind of where I'm at at the moment but obviously you know we've got this mess to deal with we're getting there. I'm not sure what colour I'm going to do next, but we'll see. I just think that the pink, purple and blue looks really nice for when I film. So I've picked that. Yeah. But now I'm going to have a lunch break um, and turn down the heating because I'm boiling doing this job. Okay, time for another update. As you can see, it's still raining outside and I have still got a mess. Now, I did get to a point where I couldn't really stand in my sorting area, but we're, we're a bit better now. So as I said before, I was kind of running out of room with blue books, so I've started like another bluish kind of shelf, which has kind of turned into yellow. I don't know why I, I thought that was a good idea, but yeah, we're, we're rolling with it. Uh, I have taken out, so <laughs> I needed, I found two more books I got for Christmas, which had to fit on this shelf. So I was like, right, pick two books that I don't want anymore. To force myself because should, really when I'm doing this I should be taking off the ones that I don't want anymore and the ones that I'm going to give charity or whatever but with everything going on at the moment I don't really know if charities are taking in books or what to do with them and I don't want to kind of just have them sat around but I suppose I should just put them in the loft or something until I can do something with them so to force myself to fit two books on that shelf I had to take two out so I've taken out Hold Back the Stars and One Winter Morning both which I have read so I will see if anyone wants those first um like my mum or anything before I uh, do something with those but those have been relegated so we've got another blue layer turning into yellow and then at the bottom I've just put a load of black books and then my twisted tail sideways because it doesn't matter quite so much you're not really going to see them um, and then you know the black books are away from the visuals so it's more colourful so this is what we have at the moment which is not too shabby if I knew more what I was doing with these rainbow things, then it would be a million times better, but it's not. So then on the other side, I have also started, this lighting is awful, sorry. Um, I've started doing a white shelf, the one that's gonna be opposite me when I'm filming. So I'll show you that now. Um, so, well, I mean, it, it was, uh, it's basically this shelf here, but these ones won't fit on it. So these are gonna have to go somewhere below. But the trouble is that now I need to take another shelf off in order to start something new, but I'm running out of room on the floor. Um, so that is kind of the white shelf. I've had to put some books sideways, um, just because obviously, you know, I've got too many books, lol. <laughs> now I need to share with you something that I've just found on my shelves. Um, uh, my first ever library card. That's really cute. So this is, um, my first ever library card that I had maybe... I wouldn't have been a teenager at this point, but I remember my dad moved villages and he signed me up to the library in his new village slash town area. Um, and I, I don't remember what I had out of the library, but I do have a few books. Um, so this is my my first Devon library card. It even says Lorna on it. And I'm just taking out my last name because we don't all need to know my last name. Um, so yeah, how cute is that? My first library card. 
Okay, it's a little bit later now and good news is I'm going to get rid of these books. Uh, bad news is that that pile probably should be bigger, um, but those are the ones that I've taken out. Now we've still got a lot of mess, actually kind of worse than before because I had to take apart the shelves which were not booky. Um, we're not done yet. Top shelf, we've kind of got Harry Pottery and some special editions. Got a nice kind of sunset shelf along here. Those coloring books need to go elsewhere. And then as I planned to, I've got a white shelf and another majority white shelf. Now here is where we get a bit problematic because the amount, I think I need to get another bookshelf, but I don't know where it's gonna go. Um, my special editions are having to go near the bottom, which obviously is not right. They're special editions, they should be on show. Definitely better on this side than the other side because of the fact that I've got windows up here and here. So obviously that was coming onto this side where they were before and I don't want them to get bleached. Um, but I have had to double layer here. Behind we did have like a green going into a blue kind of shelf. Um, so I've had to double layer there, that's kind of sad. Um, if I didn't have all of these Disney collectible notebooks, it might be a bit better, but kind of want those out. I don't want to put them in the loft because, um, yeah, they're, I spent quite a bit of money on those. <laughs> um, and then along the bottom, I've just kind of got a mismatch of what didn't have a spot. Now, to be quite honest, at this point, I've got the worst backache and I don't want to do any more, but I really should tidy up. I might just take my, don't know, I don't want to take my contour lenses out because I want to go to Asda. Um, can't wear glasses if you're wearing a mask because all the steam goes in your eyes, all the condensation on your glasses and then you can't see. Um, so I've got quite a bit of sorting to do though. Um, I kind of want to be that person who's like, I'll do it tomorrow, but I won't. Um, so I should probably finish it. If I concentrated for like 20 minutes, I'd probably get it all done, but I'm just like hot and bothered now. I've, I've had enough because I've not done a very good rainbow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing a very good rainbow, that's that's what it is. I've got some rainbow shelves, um, I'm not even in focus. I can't even speak to you in focus. Um, so I've got some nice coloured shelves, but is it a rainbow? No. So have I made rainbow shelves? No. Have I tried? Yes. Have I put in lots of effort? Yes. Have I spent hours doing this? Yes. But yeah, I've got lots of tidying up to do now. Um, I'm kind of happy with some of the way the shelves look. I think some of them are really cute. So at least that's good. I mean, like that looks quite effective in my honest opinion. Maybe this, oh, let me sit down probably. Maybe this like yellowy section over here shouldn't quite be there. I've got loads of other blue books, so I probably could have continued the blue. Um, oh, I've not even brushed them properly. Um, yeah, maybe that bit's not quite so good. But yeah, I think they look cute. And I would show you the pink shelf above, but there's all the books that I'm getting rid of. And it's good that I'm getting rid of some books. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 books. Ooh, can we not make that 20? Mm, no. Um, shall I take you through the books that I'm going to get rid of, actually? Yeah, maybe that would be an idea. So, well, I mean... Some of these are actually I keep as lending copies. I've got a lending copy of Handy with the Handle with Care. That's on my bookshelf. I'm not getting rid of that one. So some of these I've read, some of these I haven't. So we've got Girl Boss. Um, I read that ages ago. Did, did not inspire me. Um, so we can get rid of that. Mercy by Jodie Peacock, just because I've got two copies and this one is like a bit ragged. And then Picture Perfect, also by Jodie Peacock. Again, just because I've got two copies and this one is a bit ragged. Oh my goodness, my spine hurts so much i'm actually 90. now i'm gonna get rid of before i go by colleen oakley um this hasn't even been read has it no it's not um i don't i think i bought that in a charity shop um i've not read it though and i don't really want to i think i just bought it because it said as good as jojo moy's all your money back which obviously wasn't going to happen from a charity shop, but it, I've just never picked it up, so I obviously don't want it that much. Uh, the Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. Um, I've just never picked it up, and I don't know where I got it from. I've had, it's been on my shelf a long time. Caraval, sorry guys, I read it ages ago, didn't like it, so why is it sat on my shelf? Because I'm not going to read the rest of them. I might as well get rid of that one. And then we've got, my name is Lucy Barton. Um, hated that. I don't know why it's still on my shelf. I read it ages ago. And I absolutely detested it. Am I normal yet, Holly Bourne? Only because I've got two copies of this one. 
So I don't really need two copies. Yeah, I can see the other one on my shelf. I don't need two copies. So why, why have I got two? Um, the Hobbit. Tried to read that. Couldn't. Didn't get it. I've not seen The Hobbit and I've not seen the Lord of the Ring films. I tried to read the book without having watched them or any understanding. And I was just so confused. And I had no idea what was going on. As they were just, just chatting to each other. I was like, I don't know. Uh, I really should do this, didn't I? Hold back the stars. Read it. Just won't read it again. One winter morning. I think... I'm not sure whether that's actually... No, that is mine. But I don't know whether my mum might want to read that one. Um, I just didn't. wasn't my favourite book in the world. And I won't read it again. So I might as well get rid of it. Oh! Look at that magic. Right, okay. Then we've also got... The version of Us by Laura Barnett. Um, again, not read. Um, I didn't read that one. Don't know whether that's from like the works or from a charity shop, but I don't just I don't I don't have an interest in it. Um, the Little Christmas Kitchen. I think that's actually my mum's, so I'll give that back to her. Um, by Jenny Oliver. I read that this Christmas. Convenient Marriage by Georgette Taylor. Again, uh, I haven't read this one. No one has ever read this, and I got that from a charity shop, but I just I've never picked it up. I got it years ago. The Sunshine and Biscotti Club by Jenny Oliver. So is that two Jenny Oliver books? Uh, so I must not really like Jenny Oliver. <laughs> um, that one's mum's anyway, but I remember I didn't, that wasn't really the best thing in the world. I read it a few years ago. Uh, Katie Ford, A Summer at the Sea. At Sea, I think mum gave that one to me. It wasn't, it's just, I've not picked it up. The Lonely, um, Andrew Michael Hurley. Just haven't wanted to pick it up and I read the blurb a minute ago and it creeped me out a bit so I, I think that's too scary for me to read. Uh, we Were Liars by E. Lockhart, one I read as a teenager and I should just get rid of probably, you know, I'm not going to read it again am I? Alice and the Fly by James Rice, I think someone bought that for me as a Christmas present like years and years ago and I just have no inclination to pick it up so that is also going in the pile of books to get rid of. Okay kids, we've done it. I finished something I'm not sure no I know it's not what I had in in my mind in my mind's eye but I kind of like it uh conclusions I've come to is that rainbow books rainbow bookshelves is very hard to organize um it hurts your back a lot a lot a lot like my back is like Lorna what have you been doing um and also I've got too many books for the amount of bookshelves I've got so I either need to get rid of some books which I don't want to do um or get a new bookcase but I don't know where it'd go so I need a third option really is there a third option I I'm I'm not really I don't know I'm not really sure um but I will the sun has gone in quite a lot now because we've had a bit of rain bit of clouds so this lighting is probably not ace um but I will show you around my bookshelves now that they're finished and I think I mean I'm looking at a bit that just it looks messy I don't like the bit where I don't like the bit where the special editions are so that's obviously needs to go changing but I don't know where to put them unless I put them on the unit I don't know but they're not fabulous but it can be fixed so there are bits that I love bits that I don't love I'll do, shall I just show you this video has been long enough anyway um yeah, the only, uh, another issue that I've got is that a lot of the things which weren't actually books, like empty notebooks and stuff like that, have currently kind of moved to the desk. So now the desk looks very messy. Earlier it was like organised mess, it was tidy mess. Now it's just piles of, of mess. Um, so that could look better. I've just put, I've taken all of the plush toys. My mum's collected Disney from our holiday, uh, Disney's Disney toys from our holiday off my shelves which were before the Mickeys and Minis or Mickeys and Mini um, and I've just put them there for the time being. I will put them away at some point but I just kind of don't want them on the shelves anymore. There was too many books and too many things on the shelves it was looking kind of cluttered so so I mean I kind of think that this is this is good. I like this shelf. I mean this shelf is not amazing but maybe maybe I should swap that with the top shelf actually so we can have the white but then it turns into blue. You can't win it all. I mean, this is the best shelf. We're just gonna be honest. Whoa! Oh my goodness, I'm causing mayhem. Um, all of the. Do you know how hard it is to get that to stand up there? Well, you're about there. We go. Whew. Um, the pink and the purple. Oh, I can fit this in there. Oh my god. Right. Okay. The lesson learned is just don't touch the key ring that you have balanced. Um, stay there. 
Whew, right, okay, I'm not touching that shelf anymore. Um, but that is just the prettiest shelf, let's be honest. So I will give you a little tour. I might as well. No, just we got to end this video somewhere. Like my back is killing me. I got to lie with a hot water bottle for the rest of the day. And I do need to go to Asda and get some mango. I fancy some mango. So yes, I will show you around. Okay, I've had to put the lights on, so don't don't shout at me for potato quality. It's uh it's too dark outside, and also you can see the issue that we've got here. This is an issue for another day. Uh, now this is messy. So anyway. Right, let's, actually that's my favourite bookshelf, we'll start with this one, so along the top we've got my row of Dahl books, some special edition, my special edition Agatha Christie, you can tell I've got the light on, look at the colour of my hand, that's better, um, so we've got row of Dahl, some special editions, and then we've got my Agatha Christie special edition, all my main Harry Potter books, uh, Fantastic Beast books, and then we've got all my Hufflepuff hardback editions, uh, my illustrated ones and then the Mina Lima one which I'm going to start collecting and then when we come down we've got a bit of a sunset shelf to match my nails um the lighting in here is awful I'm, I can only apologize um so we've got red into a little bit of orange into yellow and then coming down this is I mean this is fairly self-explanatory these are white books um or at least white edge books anyway so hopefully this will help a little bit help a little bit when I'm filming to reflect some light onto my face when we have issues like this lighting right now um and then we've got more let me get down a little bit and then we've got more white books with a little bit of color in them and then also all my knots and crosses books on the left hand side because they had to go somewhere here is where it gets sad um I did have and I should have shown you actually like a really nice pale green into green into blue into dark blue along the back of here um but I really ran out of room for these special editions and this is what I hate I absolutely hate this like these should be taking center stage somewhere um they're beautiful books and they shouldn't just be shoved on the front like this um so that makes me sad but I'll do something about that another time um <laughs> lol um and then down the bottom again this is just a bit of a mess um, these are those notebooks that I've collected and then we've just got some fillers really and some books that didn't really have places to go so I've just kind of put them down there. Um, they're in no particular order because like one of my most favourite books is here um, but then also I never read that one so they're, they're just mishmashed in. And then we've got all my bookmarks and everything down in the right hand corner here which needs sorting out and I just, I did have mugs as display things on here so I've just kind of put them at the bottom just for somewhere for them to go. Um, but yeah, um... I guess that's kind of it. Like it could be could be worse, couldn't it? Let's just do a little thing so I can show you. So we've got the white. It goes better as you look up, let's be honest. Like that is an ace shelf. So it could be worse. And now I will show you the much better shelf. So along the top, this hasn't changed from earlier. We've got two layers of hardbacks. These are all white and then into a bit of blue. And then we've got Reddies, there it, that is red. At, oh, I just knocked off some Disney ears. Um, that is red at the bottom. Um, in some red, into some pink, two yellowy books. You can't tell that's yellow on this screen. Um, and then into black books with a good old Lorna Dune on the end, which is where my name's from. And fun fact, I've never read that book, so that's why it's on my shelf to be read. And then this one, obviously my favourite shelf, we've got pinks into purple. I just think this is really gorgeous. Um, I really like the way it looks. Super fun. Look at this. This is something that I got for my birthday. How cool is that? So, I mean, obviously I've only just opened it so it's not laying flat, but you can have that lay flat and it's like a, um, a book light. Then as soon as you close it, it turns off and it will go, I can't do it one handed and I don't want to break it, but it will go all the, oh, <laughs> all the way around. It's got like a magnet thing, so that's why it's showing. Um, it will go all the way around into like a circle. Um, so this is all like super, super open. But how cool is that? And then you just plug it in and like recharge it. So that's a new addition to my bookshelf. Oh, there we go. Okay then, further down we've got our blue shelf, which behind this frame it goes into a dark blue. I think this is really cute, I quite like it. And then underneath we've got more blue because it turns out that I have um, a lot of blue books. And then I've had to like 
blend that one into like a yellow um, just because they didn't really have anywhere to go, which I don't really like that. I kind of want to switch that for some blue books that are on the other shelf, um, which are hidden because these are on show, but we'll see. I've done enough today, so we'll reevaluate that later. And then down the bottom, um, all these black books, Disney Twisted Tales. I think this kind of looks kind of creepy and effective, um, but obviously I just don't want... Um, the black books on show because I want this to be more colourful and more friendly and black books are, even though I love black, love the colour black, I literally have like black rugs and stuff like that and I wear black a lot and I'm wearing black now actually, um, a black top but black books just kind of seem depressing. So I would much rather that we had colours like this which is what I've done and I think it looks really cute so I'm really happy with those, um, I think that looks very effective. So that is the end of this video, um, even more potato quality now because the light was on my face so I've had to turn one of the lights off, um, but that is me organising my bookshelves and hopefully you enjoyed that and um, hopefully it was worth it. I have no idea how long this video is going to end up but uh, I guess we'll soon see um, how long it's going to, how long it's going to be. That will be, that'll be an interesting edit that will. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, happy reading, organise your books, don't hurt you back. Do it in stages. Um, yeah. Thanks. I'll see you all soon. Bye.